For today's quiz, I have this hand wound coil. I just took a test tube and wrapped magnet wire, wire around it and then shaved off the side so that I could get electrical contact. And here I have a temporary switch and a battery. Now, inside of this piece of wood, I've got a very, very strong magnet. It's one of those neodymium or dimium magnets. And it's so strong and so powerful that I like to keep it in wood. If anything comes near it, smashes into it, it won't shatter it. Regardless, the north side is pointing up. Our question for today simply asks, if I took that coil, which doesn't have any power going through it right now from our battery, and I simply temporarily hit the uh, switch and allow DC current to come this way from positive to negative through that coil, what would happen to the coil? Here's what your question looks like today. I'll hold that up right now. And remember that coil loops around like this. As always, mark your answer to the best of your ability and list your confidence. Typical student responses vary wildly with this quiz. Some will say it rotates, others will say it'll flip over, others will say it'll be pulled down, jump up, pretty much everything you can imagine. So push them to see if there's something behind their reasoning. And some will try to use the right hand rule, and that is the right track. So push them and see what they can do. But in general, you're gonna get a lot of different answers on this one. To help us explain what's going on here, I've already drawn our quick quiz up on the board here. We're just simply gonna use the right hand rule. And remember, the thumb is gonna point in the direction of conventional current. In this case, positives are going in that direction. I'm gonna grab onto that wire and my fingers are gonna loop around showing the direction of the magnetic field. If I do that for each one of these coils, I like to take this coil right here out in front. So when it comes out in front, I grab it and you can see that my fingers are gonna end up curling around. And if I were to go around the back side here, you'll see that as my current is working its way down that loop, the fingers are always gonna point downward. And so we're gonna end up with field lines that are gonna end up coming down like this. So this is in the back. I would end up having a field line here, something like this. And this would come in the front here. So I'd end up having field lines that look something like this. So you can see the field lines are coming out and that's gonna mimic something like a magnet. Look, if I said this thing really looks like a magnet and if I had field lines coming out like this, well, that's gonna be the north side and that's gonna be the south side. So when we think of this as being the northern side and this is maybe being more of like the southern, a north and a north, they don't like each other. And therefore, when I hit that button, they're gonna end up repelling because north does not like north. Let's go try it. All right, so now all we need to do is push the button and watch. And if I hit this, you can see it jumps right up. So uh, it really does feel a force. So when you put a uh, magnet near a coil, you use the right hand rule and you can find the force on it. All right. That's your quiz for today. Thank you for watching another Idealized Science Institute video. We are a nonprofit organization. If you like what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want, leave a comment below. It's helpful to us. If you can financially support us, go to our website and hit the donate button. If you can't, simply by sharing these videos with other teachers and students in your life will be helpful. While at our website, you'll find that we have our Idealized Science Institute book that'll help you engage your students in dialogic discourse. 
There you'll also find we have a podcast where we break down educational research. We also have long form lessons. If you're a teacher, you can watch these and go in the very next day and enact these. Along with this, we also have many other resources, including more quick quizzes. So thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching another Idealized Science Institute video. We are a nonprofit organization. If you like what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want, leave a comment below. It's helpful to us. If you can financially support us, go to our website and hit the donate button. If you can't, simply by sharing these videos with other teachers and students in your life will be helpful. While at our website, you'll find that we have our Idealized Science Institute book, That'll help you engage your students in dialogic discourse. There you'll also find we have a podcast where we break down educational research. We also have long form lessons. If you're a teacher, you can watch these and go in the very next day and enact these. Along with this, we also have many other resources, including more quick quizzes. So thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.